Those annoying winter ills and chills stuff us up and slow us down. Today's live stream's award-winning medical ambassador, Dr. Emma Parry, is back in the Harvey Norman Lounge with us with some advice for us about immunity. Good morning. Morning, Holly. OK, so what is it when we say that we've got low immunity? Well, I'm just going to take us back and just talk about what immunity is to start with. So. Um, every day our bodies are being bombarded with all sorts of substances which uh, could have a bad effect on us. So if we think about bacteria and viruses, they can be, you know, really detrimental, even life-threatening. And so our bodies develop this immunity which protects us from, from those um, kind of uh, substances. So we've got two types of immunity. Um, the first is the innate immunity, and that's things like your skin, which is a waterproof layer, protects mm -hmm. us, um, your gut and your gut lining, um, and also um, cells which come in as the sort of first response to any cell of in infection and so they bring in extra blood flow and a bit of extra fluid to the area so that's where you get that bump of inflammation it goes very red and they bring in cells which just randomly will take away the substances causing problems then we have a second type of immunity and this is called adaptive immunity and what this is is actually when our bodies have developed a very specific immunity in response to particular infections and that's the way that vaccines work so vaccines ah. actually develop a, an immunity to a particular type of uh, infection such as measles. Right. So, so when we talk about low immunity, we might be talking about either of those systems, which is just not responding in the way that we would want. So um, low immunity can occur in all sorts of cases, but it's particularly common in, in young children, mm -hmm. uh, in older people, mm -hmm. if you've been sick for some chronic illness. Um, also, we talk about when you're run down. Yep. Uh, and so things like stress or getting up early to run breakfast shows, things <laughs> yeah. like that, they can, they can really affect your, your immunity. Yeah, um, kids keeping you up at night, that sort totally. of thing. Totally, yeah. all that kind of stuff. So all of that can affect your immunity and that's when we talk about low immunity. Okay, really well done on that because that totally gives me all of the answers. But another phrase we hear a lot is free radicals. So what do free radicals actually do? Yes, so it's not some sort of hippie movement. No. Um, it's actually back to physics. So, okay, we've had the immunity lesson, yep. but now we're going to have the physics lesson. Okay. So I hated physics at school, so I like to make it as simple as possible. Um, so each of our bodies is made up of cells, millions and millions of cells. And each cell is made up of molecules. Mm -hmm. And a molecule is made up of atoms. So we've all kind of heard of atoms. Yeah. It's the smallest particle that all matter is made of, even this sofa. Yeah. So an atom, at the centre of an atom, is something called a proton, and that's got like a positive charge. Wrapped around the atom is shells which contain electrons, which are negative charges. Okay. And they balance each other out, positive and negative. And what happens sometimes is that an electron gets locked, uh, lost or knocked off the outer shell. And then what happens is that the atom is out of balance. Right. And that is your free radical. Okay. Okay? Right. So what happens then is it wants a negative charge. It wants an electron. And it just grabs it from the next nearest atom. And what happens is you set off a chain reaction. The next atom then tries to grab the next electron from the next atom next to it. And if that happens in the setting of a cell, then quite quickly it can lead to a chain reaction that can lead to death of the cell. Right, and that's why they're bad. And you've brought on today um, the spirulina yep. from Health 2000, which I'll just show here. So how does this work? Is it, how's this good for us? What are the benefits? Yeah, so, so spirulina has been around for centuries. It's a, a blue-green algae and it's um, it's very densely packed protein with mm -hmm. vitamins and minerals, and it's great for recovery after exercise, right. uh, but it also um, supports immunity, which is what we're talking about today. Now, in terms of how it does that, it has the, a high concentration, in fact, this is the highest on the market concentration of something called phycocyanin. Okay. Long word, <laughs> but that is an antioxidant. Right. Okay. So, so good to get rid of the free radicals, is that what so, we're saying? Yeah, so what that antioxidant does is it helps with part of the immune system called mm -hmm. the T helper cells and help support them to, to help us with immunity. And so what have you brought here as well? This is the probiotics, which you've brought in before, I know. These are the advanced ones. So would you use this in conjunction with the spirulina? Yeah, so I'm a big probiotic fan, yeah. as you know, from my previous uh, visits to the cafe. Um, so so I, if I take you right back to the beginning when we talked about the two types of immunity, one of them is innate. So we talk about the skin being a really mm -hmm. good um, uh, waterproof layer. The gut is really important. It's one of the first places that we get exposed to bacteria and viruses. Yep. Um, and so we want our gut to be in really good health so it can repel the borders, as it were. And so what we find is with the gut lining, we have all these bacteria, which mm -hmm. are good bacteria, 
And what they do is they keep the lining healthy, so they right. reduce inflammation. And so actually taking a probiotic ensures that you're keeping the right bacteria there, which keep your gut lining healthy, as opposed to the wrong bacteria, which can actually cause problems by themselves, but also stop the gut from being so so good a, 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 a barrier to, to infection. Brilliant. Yeah. So those those two together working great. Yeah, Get rid slightly of those different, different ways in, in terms of supporting your immunity. Yeah, Fantastic. Absolutely. Great advice as always. Thank you, Dr. Emma. Thank you. Now she's brought along products for everyone in the audience today as well. Woo! And they're available at Health 2000 stores. Just ask their friendly staff to point you <laughs> in the right direction.